Joining the Fiji rugby team is probably the highlight of my career. When we get together, the camp vibe is always highly energised. The competition's there, it's great, it's healthy, keeps everyone on their toes, you know, and then training is like a test match for us as well, you know. Everyone's fighting for that position, so it's a good thing to see. November 2 is always very, very important to us, and this one, you know, with less than 12 months to go to the World Cup, even more so. One thing I know about this team is that the more we have the ball, the more we keep the ball, we're going to keep the Fijian uh, running. When you join back up with the team, it makes you feel like you're at home, regardless wherever the tour or the campaign is. Mixing back with the boys brings you back down to earth and can at least put a smile on your face. And the best place to find it is around the boys. There's certainly challenges around November, although a number of our players are based up here. Just getting them together, getting them into the mindset of playing the Flying Fijian style can take a little bit of time. And the short preparation period is always a challenge. You always feel a little bit underdone going into that first test match as, as we did last week. But, you know, over another week together now, the team I can see, you know, we've trained much better this week. Our combinations are really coming together. So, you know, we, we have our challenges, but that's the world we live in and, and we make the most of it. In terms of the match cycles, we try to keep the same cycle going. It's important for our players to understand what type of training they're doing on different days of the week. You know, we have our clarity days when we go through our work-ons and maybe some specifics around our game plan. We have our physical day where we do a lot of our, you know, heavy scrum work, contact work and, you know, pretty hard team trainings. And then we have a, you know, getting towards the game a faster day where we try to execute our plays under match-like conditions. Have a look at this type five here, all right? And a um, little bit over here. And then just have a look what happens to us, OK? So we're walking, slow jog. We're still making effort there. But we don't really get the, the urgency, do we? So the kick goes up. We've got plenty of hang time in the air. We need to have that urgency so that we get set. I really like the way that these guys finished up in a really strong defensive group, OK? Righto, so everyone understands that. That's, that's clarity for this, for this morning or today's session. Clarity, for, we've established points that we came through from last week's game against Scotland that we needed to focus on for this week and in the session plan for this afternoon's session. Going over the, the finer details of that session this morning, which gives us the clarity going into that afternoon session. For us from the weekend, we established a point of kick chase. Although our kick chase wasn't bad, it wasn't really good. So we were trying to emphasise the point that we need to be at a higher standard in terms of our kick chase. So that clarity around that this morning was making sure that we got that detail in place. Um, and I think we did that. How you find the weather here? In oh, uh, I think uh, it's very cold. Back at home, it's uh, very hot. Yeah. It's very cold here. Yeah. It's uh, it's very hot. You like it in uh Yeah, I like the weather. Very good, eh? How about here compared to Edinburgh? Ah, Edinburgh. <laughs> <laughs> One of the big things is that 12 months out from the World Cup, or just under 12 months, the, I think we know our squad a lot better than we did last time. We certainly know our strengths and we maybe know some of our weaknesses as well. Compared to November in 2014, we probably didn't have so much of an idea of where our World Cup players were coming. We still had players coming into the squad quite late and making late bids for selection. So for me, that's beneficial and puts us way in front of where we were in 2015. I really believe that we've got a fantastic group of athletes playing for Fiji. You know, they're very talented rugby players, but we do have work to do to make sure that they can play and maintain their level of play at the intensity of Test Match Rugby. We've really got to really focus in on this game now. You know, we've had a relatively relaxed week so far, but now we've got to ramp it up for Saturday. And I think, you know, when you're going into battle, if you if you underestimate your, your enemy, it's at your peril. So we must be thoroughly prepared for this game and, and thoroughly prepared for, you know, putting in our absolute best performance on, on Saturday. This afternoon, we're really looking to, to really rip into the session. We want to get a lot of, lot of intensity and speed in the session. So yes, it's rugby and it's execution, but it's also preparing us for the game by being able to execute when we're a bit tired, execute under 
under, um, you know, when, when we're operating at, at, at high speed. Best thing about the Fijian squad is that we take each week as it comes. We treat every team as if they're the world champions and we prepare for that game. One thing that the coaches have addressed and we've seen clips is that we have to play 80 minute rugby. We have to get used to it and the more we keep the ball, we just play the Fijian way because our game is not around set piece. Our game is that just holding the ball and just running straight and then passing the ball in different angles. Our emphasis has been on performance and playing well. And also Uruguay, uh, one of our opponents in Rugby World Cup, that's our second match. So this match has a lot of importance because we don't get to play Uruguay very often and really to put down a marker for a Rugby World Cup, it's important that we perform very well. We're going to take this as a learning because a win in this weekend is going to be a bonus for us next week because World Cup is just around the corner and I think it's going to be a big game for us. You know, for me, there's, there's not a lot to say today. We, what, what we've got to do is go out and, and walk the talk, do the things that we talked about during the week, do the things that we've that we've trained trained to do around our game plan, around our role, clarity, around our tasks in the game. So well, let's go out there today and really express ourselves. You know, another every time we run on the field, an opportunity to express yourselves as rugby players. The important thing is the process of how we play. I'm totally confident that if we play well against Uruguay, we'll win the match. So for me, it's important to play well to get the result we want. I would hate to come away on Saturday and think, well, it was a bit of a scrappy game and we didn't really do what we wanted to do, but we still won. That wouldn't be satisfying for me. It's about us playing our game, playing our style, and if we do that well, you know, I believe we can get a good result. The first time that these two teams have met since the Rugby World Cup of 2015. Fiji and Uruguay both take advantage of their northern tour to test new combinations with both coaches commenting on how the short preparation time has been challenging in the run into this match. Fiji building up ahead of steam here, lovely offload, centre field. Desperate defence here from Uruguay, taken in the air by Metuvi Talangula, and the try has come with just four minutes on the clock. Fiji on the score sheet. And they come again. This is Leoni Nakarawa. That's a lovely handoff. I just love this guy, Leoni Nakarawa. There's no other second row on the planet that can do what he does. And he's created a second score for Peteliato. Well, this is what they're going to be up against at the Rugby World Cup. The strong running of uh, Tuisova. And the replacement, uh, Vito Carni. And another try for Eroni Sao. Very pleasing today, you know, the players really stuck at our game. We didn't really go off the plan and played the 80 minutes out, so very pleasing day for us. I think it really good lead up to our big game next week against France. It wasn't going to be an easy uh, pushover, but they exposed our uh, weaknesses at, at times, but we managed to hold them out and, um, and manage our, our, our weaknesses as well to our advantage. So it's a massive uh, stepping stone moving forward to the World Cup, and I think it's really built our confidence and our attitude and our mentality moving forward. So, yeah, it's great. For me, you know, it's really important that our players played like a, a team that's ranked number 10 and went on with it in the game. You know, there's always a worry in these games that the play gets a bit loose and a bit sloppy and it becomes a very close game. So I think in terms of a statement of where we're heading, I think that we made a very strong statement today. Oh, my God.